hi, Genki Call here, bringing you another tiny tutorial for Gems of War. This time we're going to focus on all the keys and the shards and the seals. Oh my, why are there so many different kinds in this game? I don't get it. Why do they have to make it confusing? We've got seals, we've got gold keys, glory keys, gem keys, event keys, and we've got chaos shards. Why do they have to make it so confusing? I don't know, but I'm here to explain all of that to you. So, your lowest tier keys are the gold keys. These are useless to a point. They are very useful when you're lower, lower level. They'll get you some troops. Here are, are the things that you can get. Commons and rares. Rares are also common, I gotta say. And uh, basically they're helpful for getting your kingdoms to level, to, you know, leveled up. That's about it. Once you get into the game, I should say. All right. I'll open 200 chests here, just so you can see the kind of stuff you can get. Green is the highest tier, green aka rare. You want to get lots of green when you open these chests, and I got quite a bit, quite a bit of commons too. Down at the bottom you can see what else you can get. Doo -doo -doo -doo. We got some trait stones, we got some glory, and some gold, and some souls, and a few gems. I'll take gems anytime. I love to me some gems. All right, and they're called gold keys because you buy them with gold if you don't have as many as I have. Now I'm saving them because there's a rumor that there are some new factions, not factions, my bad, new kingdoms coming out and I'll need these keys to get some of those commons. So I'm saving them up. Next up we have glory keys, gem keys and guild keys. These three types can get you a mythic. There's a possibility. So you want to save these keys if you can. When you're lower level, it's kind of hard to do because you really need troops. But if you can, save your keys till the first Friday of every month when a new mythic is released. During that first week when a new mythic is released, you have a higher chance of getting a mythic for that one week. And it is that specific new mythic that's higher on the drop table. Not just any mythic, that specific myth mythic. So when you're hunting when you're using keys the first thing you want to use are the glory keys glory keys can get you these things here are the percentages you have one one hundredth of a percent chance of getting a mythic from a glory key um, although that chance is really small my first mythic came from a glory key and i've gotten several from glory keys called glory keys because you can buy them with glory i will open one show you what I've got here. I got a corpse mare, which is a rare, which I can even get from a gold key. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, gem keys are next up. Of course, you can buy them with gems if you don't have as many as I've got. I've been saving them because tomorrow is Mythic Friday. I'll record my key opening, see if we can find me a new mythic. That would be awesome. I'm going to open one and then show you the percentages on here. Giant spider. All right, percentages. We have one tenth of a percent, so much better, much much better than the one one hundredth of a percent with the glory keys. Next, on the search for mythics, we've got the guild seals. It says keys. It seals. Why does it have to be confusing? I don't know, but you use these to get um, get things here from your guild. So what do I need by, by my from my guild? So just, well, let's go into there right quick. So if you're in a guild, you go in here, you click on seals, and this will show you how many seals you can get for each thing that you're doing in the game. You just have to play the game and um, and you'll get seals. But you have to remember to go in here now and then and claim them because you want to use you want to get to 2000 if you can that's the limit that's as many as you can get in one week this is maxed out this means i've got level six let me see if i click nope clicking doesn't help so this shows you based on color so level six chests will get you the best chances of getting good cards so if you're not in a guild that gets you 40,000 seals a week, you might want to find a better guild so you'll have a better chance at getting good cards. Um, so my chests are at level six. 
and that means I have a 0.11% chance of getting a mythic. That's why you want to save these for last. Use up your other keys first, and then come in here. Now, one more tip I can give you on the guild seals is that a percentage of your, your seals every time you open these chests are going to go towards getting you guild guardians. Now, the guild guardians don't have a, a, a physical location on the map. However, you can go to troops, sort by kingdom, scroll down to guardians. Do, do, do. There it is. And these are the guardians. Now, some of these troops are I've never used ever, not even once, but some are very useful. Ferocity is a very good one. Love this guy. He is a beast and I hate fighting him. And finesse is probably the most used guardian in the game across the board. So useful. Absolutely love this troop. Did I? Yes, I even meddled her up to guard um, him or her up to gold because I just love this troop so much. He's so useful. But let me get back to chests here. So when you're opening these chests, here are your percentages, 0.11% for the mythics, as I said. I'm only going to open one because Mythic Friday is starting at reset. So we got one thing there. And that, there is one more type of key here that can get you a mythic, and that is these VIP chests. As you can see, much better, much better odds of getting a mythic here. But 1.67% chance is still not fantastic, considering the, the fact that this is gambling with real money. You have to buy VIP chests with real money, and I did it once, and I'll never do it again. I've had six VIP keys since I started. I bought the first two. I got nothing. I got two from the adventure board, and I managed to get Amarok by using one of those keys during the time when he was released, that first week when he was released. I lucked out there. I one more time was able to get VIP keys off of the adventure board. It's only happened twice in the, in the year that I've been playing. And I used those VIP keys during a recent Mythic release, and I didn't get it. So there are no guarantees that you're going to get a Mythic from any chest. It's entirely luck-based, and it can be really discouraging. You may have a long snap when you have no Mythics. You may go months or half a year without getting a Mythic, and that sucks. You know, it's so discouraging. But then you could be like my eldest, who got three mythics in one day. Unbelievable. I don't know how she did it. She didn't even have that many keys. So your luck can change in an instant. All right, next up, we've got event keys. These were confusing to me when I first started. I didn't understand what events were at first because I didn't get into a guild for a while. Um, you can get event keys from the adventure board. You can get event keys from the shop. And unfortunately, I've, I've already done my resources. There's something here at the first of every week. There's a limit of 10 that you can buy, I think with glory. Yes, it is with glory. That is a fantastic deal. Do that every Monday. Absolutely, get those keys because those ev uh, event keys are very valuable. Um, otherwise, event keys come from your guild completing tasks or from you being above level 1000 in the game every level you get after that will get you an event key uh, but event keys these are only for whatever the world event is at that moment so the world event is the weekly event for the guild and it focuses on one kingdom that kingdom right now is Urskaya and so I'll only get Urskaya troops that includes the mythic. So Urskaya for mythic, mythic for Urskaya is Doomclaw. I don't have him yet, but I'm saving my keys for a different kingdom right now. However, I will open one. Maybe I'll get lucky. I don't know. 0.11%. It's the best you can get in the game. Um, 
along with the guild seals uh, unless you buy VIP keys. Uh, so I'll go ahead and open one. Boop. And I got commons. Go figure. Yes, that happens. That happens a lot. Um, I've been playing for a year and I've only recently gotten a couple of mythics from the event chests. It's really hard to do. Um, I should mention on VIP keys, there is one more way to get VIP keys, and that is to be VIP level 5. Apparently, you can use your diamonds to buy VIP keys. Um, would I do that? I don't know. I like the ability to craft my mythics. I can choose which one I want. Uh, you know, not my, my kind of, not something I need to worry about. I'm only VIP level 3 at this point. I don't plan on spending any money at the moment, but we'll see which way the wind blows. And there is one more type of key in the game. It's called a Chaos Shard. If you have been on the adventure board or you've been in your offers area here and you've seen these weird pink things, those are Chaos Shards. And Chaos Shards are used in the underworld. Every one of these kingdoms here is called a faction and every faction has its own four unique troops. You get to those troops by using shards. That's the only way to get those troops. You will not be able to go into this section until you complete the, sto the quest storyline. It doesn't take long. It, they're not hard. Once you finish those storylines, you'll be able to access the portals. And every one of these factions will show you when you go into portals which troop is the... Um, is the legendary there so you don't have to go into your troops go to unown find the faction uh, you know it just takes a while so if you want to know what the myth or the legendary is for each one of these just go in click on it go to the portal once you've got the quest unlocked and look my favorite queen bee she's such a beast i love her all right so you can open portals and that is not a troop. That is called a treasure troop. So the treasure troops are used. Don't ever put these into battle unless you're, you know, putting it in PvP and trying to lose. Um, I would never trade them. I am not going to level them. Some people do. I'm not interested in wasting resources on them. But the treasure troops are used to help you upgrade your hordes. I'll get into all of that in another video. Uh, for now, I just wanted to focus on keys and why are they called shards? Why are they called seals? I don't know. I can't answer that question. All I can do is explain what I know about these things. And I hope all of this has been helpful for, to you. If you enjoyed this video, I hope that you will like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.